At one time, the Bursa Thunder 380 was the most popular concealed carry handgun in the United States. And one reason why that could have been was it shares a lot in looks, a lot of similarities with the Makarov Milsert pistols, with the Walther PBK, and also with the iconic SIG P230. But today we're going to take a look at the little sister of that Bursa Thunder 380. This is the Bursa Thunder 22X. We're going to try some different types of ammunition in this handgun. Then we're going to put some rounds on paper, put some rounds on steel, and just see how she does. Now there's not a whole lot to get into as far as the features and specifications on this little handgun. If you're familiar with the Thunder 380, really similar with the exception, of course, of being chambered in 22 long rifle does have the 10 round magazine in this thing three dot non-adjustable sights on this thing this is the thunder 22x which means it does have the threaded barrel and one thing about the thunder series of handguns from bursa are the safety features and for new firearm owners out there these might be super important so let's do a clear check real quick and we will talk about those safety features. So we've got several safeties at play here. The first is going to be a magazine disconnect safety, meaning if the mag's out, it will not fire. Uh, then we have a decocker safety. So when you drop this, it's going to drop the hammer. It's going to decock, but it's also going into the safe position, which means pull the trigger, nothing happens. And then on top of those safeties if that's not good enough for you uh, you've got the uh, versa trigger lock there with that stuff out of the way let's do some function testing with five different types of ammunition before we live fire those safety always first got my eyes on my ears going in now and we can make this thing happen now i was told by bursa that with the little thunder 22 here it can be somewhat picky with lower velocity ammunition i do have some standard velocity and some high velocity here so we're going to see what happens I'm going to start out with some trusty cci mini mag if this don't run in it nothing will i don't expect any problems with this mini mag here we go 10 rounds And uh, yeah, just as I expected, went off pretty much without a hitch. Now I've got 10 rounds of CCI standard velocity. So let's see what this does. This might give us some issues, but you never know. Wow. CCI standard velocity ran fine. So contrary to what uh, Bursa is saying, I guess that uh, standard velocity from CCI is good enough. Moving on, got 10 rounds here of some Fioki standard velocity. Since the CCI did well, we'll see how similar, I guess, this Fioki is. Here we go. Ran fine, no problems there. So not real sure why Bursa told me that. Um, you know, they said it, it performs better with the higher velocity stuff and there's two standard velocity and it's running fine. We all know that 22 long rifle ammunition, of course, can be finicky. So maybe they're just erring on the side of caution. Next up, we got one of my favorite types of ammunition, some Federal Auto Match. Now, I have had issues or seen issues with Federal Auto Match uh, in semi-auto handguns in the past, so it'll be interesting to see if this little Thunder 22X likes it. Here we go. And uh, without a hitch, so... Again, not uh, too shabby. Next up on the function test, let's go with an ammunition I'm not super fond of. 
which is Remington Golden Bullet. Now, I find that with Remington Golden Bullet, the smaller the packaging, the better the ammunition tends to be, but I've still never been a fan. The reason I keep quite a bit of it around, though, is while I'm not a big fan, there are certain firearms that I've owned, uh, that I've worked on, that I've shot over the years, that I absolutely love Remington Golden Bullet. So let's see if this little Bursa Thunder 22X is one of them. Here we go. And no problems. So, uh, yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised after uh, hearing from the guys at Bursa that there could be issues related to ammunition. There's five different types running uh, a variety of different velocities there. This little handgun did fine. So let's move on to uh, a little bit of accuracy testing, see what happens. All right, so for our accuracy testing, we're going to go back to the CCI mini mags. Got a couple of targets down range, some of my 50-foot slow-fire pistol targets. By the way, you can download those for free from the CloverTech website. There'll be a link below. Uh, again, 50 feet is what we're looking at on this. Slow-fire, I'm going to alternate between the left and the right. Just going to go two-handed drip. Sitting here on the bench. Try to do as good as I can go. Here we go. All right, going to up the game, five rounds of CCI mini mag. Now we've got a six-inch gong, 50 yards, not 50 feet, 50 yards down the range. Let's see how many of the five rounds we can maybe put on that thing. Here we go. It's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. Holy moly, four out of five. I think that's pretty good for this little handgun. What do you think? Let me know down, of course, in the comments below. So what have we learned today about the little Bursa 22X? Well, we've learned that it's fairly accurate. I don't think we can knock it too much for that. And despite even what Bursa has said, at least with the five different types of ammunition that we've tried today, it ran fine, no problems. So if you want to check out more content about Bursa, well, I got you some videos right here. As for this one, though, we're done. So thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. And until next time, don't forget to chain fire freedom. Thank <laughs> you.